With the development of human beings today, there are many chronic diseases that cannot be cured by the traditional production and life mode. More than 7 billion people are living on the earth and consume a large amount of resources every day, and consumption has exceeded the regeneration capacity of the earth. Rapid advances in science and technology can develop new types of energy and save resources, but ultimately, it is a drop in the bucket and cannot solve the crisis that we are facing. The chronic diseases of the entire human society are as follows. 1. Resource consumption exceeds regeneration capacity. Everyone is a consumer of resources, not a creator of resources. In the long run, the depletion of resources is an inevitable reality, and this problem cannot be solved by relying on the traditional production and life mode. 2. The waste of resources. A large part of what people use in food, clothing, housing, transportation, birth, old age, sickness, and death today is extravagant and unnecessary. This problem cannot be solved by legal and moral teachings. It can only be solved by changing the traditional production and life mode. 3. Official corruption and a slothful government. There are always contradictions between officials and the people. This problem has not been resolved for thousands of years. The problem is that the traditional production and life mode are fertile soil for corruption. If the traditional production and life mode do not change, the corruption of officials and government sloth cannot be eliminated. 4. Conflicts between ethnic groups and between countries. The competition and conflicts between different ethnic groups and nations which are caused by resource competition and ideological differences have never been resolved in history. If these conflicts cannot be resolved, huge military expenditures will not be reduced, and wars will be inevitable. The huge damage that this causes to society cannot be avoided. The only measure to solve this chronic disease lies in changing the traditional production and life mode of human beings. 5. The gap between the rich and the poor. Due to everyone's different talents and the efforts that different people make, it is natural and normal for people to have a wealth gap between them. However, if the gap between rich and poor becomes too large, conflicts will form. The most effective way to alleviate this conflict is not legal and moral teaching, not to mention administrative orders and taxation, but to change the traditional mode of production and life. 6. The Magic of Money With money as a medium of exchange, its value and function cannot be questioned and underestimated. However, when people regard the pursuit of money as the primary motivation and purpose of survival and life, social turmoil and personal troubles and pains will be the result. How can the magic of money be eliminated? Only by changing the traditional mode of production and life. 7. The Loss of Integrity the more there are people, the fewer the resources, the more intense the competition will be, and the lower the integrity of people will be. With the loss of integrity, the cost of communication between people, countries, and special interest groups will increase infinitely. This is not only detrimental to the welfare of all the people, but also detrimental to resource conservation and social stability. How can this problem be solved? Legal and moral constraints cannot play a major role so it can only be solved by changing the traditional mode of production and life. 8. The Disadvantages of Government Planning and a Market Economy Facts have proved that the government's plan will take care of one thing and overlook another will lead to the impoverishment of the people. The market economy is like the law of the jungle, which will lead to the weak becoming the prey to the strong, which is not the ideal state of human life. I have thought about many options of how to make the world favorable and harmonious, and for the people to live and work in peace and contentment. Finally, it has been found that the best plan is to replace the traditional way of production and life with the new way of production and life. So, what kind of mode is the new human production and life mode? In a word, it is a full replication and copy of the production and life mode of the thousand-year world of the kingdom of heaven. The model of this new mode of production and life on earth is the production and life mode of the second home created by life Achanuan. A brief summary of this new mode is, human beings will no longer enter the institution of marriage and family, 
but enter the program of the second home, countries will disintegrate, there will be global cooperation and resource sharing, the scale of population growth will become lower than the regeneration capacity of the Earth's resources, and people will flow around the world designedly, allowing everyone to reach the state of life in the kingdom of heaven where everyone owns nothing yet, owns everything. This is not a dream, but a summary of the successful experience that has been practiced on the Earth for 15 years. May every citizen of the Earth get to know, think, and practice it.